Miss Sal, I'm really worried about my son Billy. I fear he's falling behind in your class and I think it's because of his handwriting. Yeah, I definitely agree that it's because of his handwriting, but luckily we do have an occupational therapist on our uh, school campus and I think it'll be really beneficial for your son to meet with the therapist. So I'll see if I can get in touch with our OT and see if we can get some sessions going. Okay, thank you. I'm really concerned about my dad. He's been falling a lot at home and I was wondering if there's something we can do to help that. I'm worried about him. Yeah, so we could, um, I could get an occupational therapist to come out to the house and do um, environmental assessment and see if maybe it's because things are too close, furniture is too close, if he needs some grab bars or anything, um, and see if that would help make his home more of a safe environment for him and keep him independent at home. That'd be great, thanks. Mm -hmm. He's getting discharged tomorrow and I'm really worried about moving him on my own once we get home because he's not really strong enough yet. Do you have any suggestions for me? Um, so we can send an occupational therapist in to work with you and your husband to uh, do some transfers and stuff to get him some more strength and some independence to help you to be able to move him in and out of bed. What does an OT do? Occupational therapists can work in a variety of settings, including hospitals, schools, outpatient and inpatient clinics, homes, work environments, nursing and retirement homes. We can also work with a variety of people, including babies, children, adults, geriatrics, amputees, people who have recently had a stroke or an operation. And we can work on a variety of issues, including fine motor skills, gross motor skills, safety transfers, emotional regulation, cognition, splints, handwriting, gait training, as well as teaching parents. What do OTs believe? The philosophy of occupational therapy states that OT is based on the belief that occupations may be used for health promotion and wellness, remediation or restoration, health maintenance, disease and injury prevention, and compensation and adaptation. Occupational therapists act on this belief uh, when working in with clients, groups, and communities by using occupations not only as a means but also as an end. Why occupational therapy? Therapists believe that everyone has the right and the desire to engage in occupations that are meaningful to them. These occupations bring meaning to their lives as well as the lives of the family and communities by allowing them to participate in society. Occupational therapists use seven core values as a guideline for their practice. They include altruism, equality, freedom, justice, dignity, truth, and prudence. If you or someone you know is struggling with any aspect of your life, please reach out to an occupational therapist near you. Thank you.